Hello and welcome back to uh, this video series. Today is this is the first exercise, well the first um, I'll say uh, episode if you want to call it that way of um, getting started with getting started with P5JS. This is going to be the typical video where I explain everything. It's basically like an introduction to what we're going to be doing. So um, in this introduction, I'm gonna basically in this video series, I'm going to be explaining. Um, I'm going through a uh, what can you do with p5.js okay so p5.js is basically a library for JavaScript what I mean by that um, is that a uh, JavaScript is a, is a programming language some people say it's not but it, I think it is it's a programming language that runs in the in the browser and this library um, adds functionality to it um, any kind of library adds uh, basically functional functionality to a uh, to like a programming language or and this one is basically is basically focused into drawings what i mean by that is that we can draw things into a canvas and um, a canvas what it is basically is like a little square or a little place where we can draw things into the browser okay and what i mean draw i mean to make animations and to me to make other things okay and this is really good to learn so um the other thing you need you need to know before we start doing this is the basics of programming okay you don't need to know you don't need to be an expert you don't need to know a lot of things you know just basic what's a variable what's a um, an if statement what's a loop okay that's basically all you know just what you know just the basics of programming and uh, now we're gonna get into what how do we start okay so basically p5.js as i said is a drawing is a base is a drawing based language um, library what i mean by that is that we're going to have a canvas so if i run it okay again first of all this is going to be a uh, small tutorials and also um we're using the p5 um p5.js program if you want to call it that way or app where you can download from their official website i'll try to link put the link below in the description um, which you can run it immediately okay um i'll i'll explain as as well, as well how to in, include this into your own um uh, website if you want to use it but for now we're just going to run it here uh, it lets us run okay so if we run it we're going to get like a little square here which basically is like a browser and uh, it's white okay so basically um p5.js uh, is mainly even though it has more than two it's basically mainly two functions is the function setup and the function draw as you imagine the function setup is is a function where we set up everything before it runs what i mean by that if we can say we want the background to be a certain color so let's say a background 100 which i'll explain later it's going to set up the background as 100 as you can see here this is not the background it's only like a little square that's what I want to go into today. So setup is basically where we, I'll, I'll say it this way, where we set up all our variables and we set up everything before it even runs. And draw is basically like a wild one. A wild one, if you are if you don't know what this means, is basically like a loop. It's a loop that's gonna keep repeating itself all the time, over and over and over and over, very, very quick. And it's around 60 frames per second, depending on your browser and yeah. Other things, but thing is, um, by default, it's 60 frames per second, so fifth, a uh, fifth, 60 times a second is doing this function here. So, uh, the way to start, we could say, is we could just try to create a canvas. So, again, if we say, if you let me do this first, you're going to see that this function here is going to modify something. As you can see now, the browser is bigger. What we've done is basically we created a function in the setup function called create canvas, and we made it 500 pixels wide by 500 pixels, uh, pixels height. If we were to change this to 800 at height, as you will see, this is much larger, and I can't even fit it in the screen. Okay, so let's change it back to 500. Okay, I like to work with 500. 500 is a perfect square, and it's, it's a nice size. Okay, so now if we were to say background just I can't even spell can I okay so um background 100 now this function is gonna set the background of it to a nice color that's a nice color I normally do a 51 that's a nice color and you'll be like how can you translate numbers into um into colors well uh, we're working into a grayscale what I mean is that zero 
is this is there is basically just black and then 255 is white and anything in between is a grayscale so if you're close to 255 you're going to get a, a wider color so let's say 200 that's kind of like a grayish color good and if you put 50 you're going to be closer to black okay and i like to use 51 because i just like that color okay 51 is a nice color okay so this is the setup this is what we set up everything let's just say for a second that we want to draw something okay so in the now we want to draw something to the screen so now i'm not going to explain what it is now i'm going to explain in 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 the third video i think which is going to be let's say we want to draw a rectangle okay i want and if i write down this a few parameters here you don't need to know what this means yes this function is going to draw a rectangle okay and i gave him the position and how big i wanted it okay and i explained this in the third video I, I believe okay so this is going to be the end of the first video and i hope you enjoyed this and there's going to be great things coming to this a uh, video series and if you enjoyed it please give me you know thumbs up <laughs> and if you didn't you know just like hit the opposite button but i wouldn't recommend to do it it's just you know it's dangerous anyway well thanks for watching and i'll see you in the second video